Hello everybody. Are we ready for story time today? Story time, my friends. I'm so glad that you're here today. All right, so we're going to do a little, a little warm-up song, if you would not mind joining me. It's called Open Shut Them. So let's get our hands ready. All right, here we go. Open shut them, open shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open shut them, open. Then shut them, put them in your lap. Did you creepy crawlies? Creep them, creep them, creep them, crawl them right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not put them in. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, and put them in your lap. Wonderful job, friends. Okay, today's theme is actually a really, really fun one. There are two really funny stories, and they're all about naked mole rats. Have you ever seen a naked mole rat before? I don't know if I've ever seen one in real life, but we've got two really good stories. Our first one, sweetie, and our other one, naked mole rat gets dressed. And actually, we're gonna start with this one today. So we've got naked mole rat gets dressed by Mo Willems. And I know a lot of you like their story by that person. Okay, here we go. There is so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. But for this story, you only need to know three things. They are a little bit rat, they are a little bit mole, and they are all naked. Well, they were, with one exception. Wilbur the naked mole rat who liked to get dressed. When, other, when the other naked mole rats saw him, they said, Ew! Yuck! What are you doing? Well, I like clothes, replied Wilbur. When I get dressed, I can be fancy, or funny, or cool, or I can just be an astronaut. What the, when the others heard that, they said, Ew! Yuck! If you like clothes so much, then why don't you open a store or something? Naked mole rats can be very sarcastic. But Wilbur thought that was a great idea. 
The other naked mole rats did not. They brought Wilbur to a giant portrait of Grandpa, the oldest, greatest, and most naked mole rat ever. Look at that picture, they demanded. Look at his real face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. Grandpa did look heroic. Grandpa did look regal. But he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some summer slacks. Ugh, said the other naked mole rats. Don't you get it? Naked mole rats don't wear clothes. Man, they're really being mean to Wilbur. Well, why not? asked Wilbur. Something had to be done. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him about Wilbur. And then he asked, why not? Hmm, Grandpa was very wise. He thought seriously about everything he had heard. And then he thought some more. Finally, he said in a heroic, regal voice, Gather the colony, I shall make a proclamation. When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, he knew it was serious. Ooh, what do you guys think the proclamation is going to be? I don't know. I don't know. But he had no idea what to wear. In the end, Wilbur decided to play it safe. Maybe not safe enough. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks that no one noticed Grandpa enter until he had cleared his throat and proclaimed, <coughs> Fellow naked mole rats, I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question, Why not? Why not, indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun? Well, they may not be for everyone, but this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. Then, Grandpa complimented Wilbur on his socks. As fast as his legs could take him, Wilbur rushed home, put on his favorite outfit, and dashed back. When he returned, Wilbur discovered that he was not alone. Much has been said about that day, but for this story, you only need to know three things. One, some of the mole rats were naked. Two, some of the mole rats were clothed. And three, all of the mole rats had a great time. The end. Oh, that's a silly story and a really good one. Clothes optional. Well, for naked mole rats, that is. <laughs> okay, friends, we are going to do a fun song called Bananas Unite. So, if you are new to this song, that's okay. I'll do it first, and then you can join in second with me, okay? But if you already know it, do it with me. It's going to be a blast. All right. Here we go. <coughs> bananas unite! Peel bananas. Peel, peel bananas. <gasps> chop bananas. Chop, chop bananas. Mash bananas. Mash, mash bananas. Eat bananas. Eat, eat bananas. <gasps> Go bananas! Think you got it? Okay, we're going to do the verses two times, okay? gonna be so much fun and when I say go bananas I want you to go bananas at home okay so just go go bananas you can dance you can yell you can sing you can skip it up do whatever you want just go bananas okay all right here we go bananas unite peel bananas peel peel bananas peel bananas peel peel bananas chop bananas chop chop bananas chop Bananas, chop, chop, bananas. <gasps> Mash, bananas.
bananas, mash, mash bananas, mash bananas, mash, mash bananas, <gasps> eat bananas, eat, eat bananas, eat bananas, eat, eat bananas, <gasps> go bananas! Woo! <claps> Wonderful job, my friend. I don't know if you heard, but I knocked my ukulele over. That's okay. Hopefully it stays there. Okay, we've got one more story today, and it's called Sweetie by Andrea Zwill, and that's Sweetie, another naked mole rat, and she's really fun, and I love this story. This is probably, honestly, one of my very favorite stories. Okay, here we go. Sweetie was awkward, even for a naked mole rat. Please note that naked mole rats are born without fur, but not without the love of clothes, as we learned from the previous story. The illustrator is grateful for this, since she didn't have to draw a bunch of highly embarrassing pictures. Well, aren't you Grandma's little square peg? Her own grandmother called her a little square peg. Sweetie didn't exactly know what that meant, but she did know that she did not always fit. Sweetie could be intense. My doll's name is Ellie. She likes cupcakes. My doll's David. My grandma gave him to me. This is Sunshine. She wants to be a doctor. What's your doll, Sweetie? This is Warrior Princess Zorna, friend of the friendless, destroyer of evil, lover of chocolate beet cake with cream cheese frosting. Her favorite color is aubergine, and my mom made her for me. <laughs> and people found her hobbies a bit bizarre. Would you like to come over to my house and help me identify fungi? Um, no, thank you. Sweetie did things that others had a hard time comprehending, like the day she gave her book report through interpretive dance. There were times when Sweetie wondered what it would be like to be someone else, someone like Deb. Deb always said the right thing and had stylish friends. Best of all, she had beautiful hair. Sweetie wanted hair like Deb's. She thought that maybe she should try a wig. Then there were times when Sweetie just felt like being Sweetie. Looks like she's in her bedroom there, reading a story. The best days were when Auntie Ruth visited. Aunt Ruth understood Sweetie perfectly. She didn't think Sweetie's hobbies were weird. Really, not a single one. Sweetie and her aunt loved going through old family photo albums. Sweetie especially liked the pictures of her mom and her aunt when they were her age. So look at that. They looked just like Sweetie back then. On her most recent visit, Auntie Ruth talked about how she was called a square peg when she was young. Sweetie started to understand what that meant. Aunt Ruth said that being different was one of the best things about her life, and that if you stayed true to yourself, you'd find your people. And that made Sweetie think. Were there really people out there for her? How would they recognize her? How would she recognize them? Was there a secret handshake she'd have to learn? She really hoped there was a secret handshake. Sweetie wondered how many times she'd been close to one of her people and not known it. What if she stepped it up a notch? Would her people be able to spot her more easily? My name is Sweetie. I like dancing, mushrooms, and rainy days. You too? Need to find your people? Maybe wear a match. Flyers are available. She started a whole parade. Or would she just seem desperate if she did that? For now, 
she'd trust Aunt Ruth to continue to do her favorite things and be herself. And maybe she'd try a couple of new hobbies just for fun. After all, being sweetie wasn't so bad. Sigh, oh, they're beautiful. In fact, it could be pretty awesome. Well, aren't you a fuzzy little caterpillar? And who knew when someone else pretty awesome might come along? Oh my gosh, isn't that the cutest little caterpillar? My name is Sandy. Your shirt is wonderful. I wouldn't mind having a shirt with a mushroom on it. I love mushrooms. My favorite is Gyromitra esculenta. It looks like a brain. Hi, Sandy. My name is Sweetie. Would you like to learn a secret handshake? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> the end. Oh, what a good story. I love that story. All right, my friends, that is all the time that we have today. I hope you enjoyed these really cool stories. This is how I like to say goodbye at story time. If you could put your hands up into the air, wiggle, wiggle fingers, way up to the sky. Wiggle, wiggle fingers, wave them all. Goodbye. I will see you next time. Goodbye.